Hello, I'm Dr. Vicki Peterson, and I've been getting a lot of comments on my vitamin D3 video with people asking me um, or telling me that vitamin D3 is rat poison and that nobody should consume it because it is most obviously toxic. Um, the facts are that vitamin D3, also known as cholecalciferol, is a part of rat poison. However, we are not rats. So, uh, something that's toxic to rats is this vitamin D3. However, much like, and by the way, this rat poison, unfortunately, if your dog or cat got into it, would also be highly toxic to them. Um, but as far as the corollary of rats, dogs and cats, and then humans, uh, if you're a dog owner, you know that dogs getting into chocolate is very, very hazardous. So it's like that. Humans do fine with cocoa. Um, pure cocoa to a dog is, can be life-threatening. So the facts are we are not rats, we are not dogs and cats, and to put out this information that nobody should consume vitamin D3 when 97% of Americans are deficient is really dangerous. So I wanted to clarify that this is not the same. There is nothing toxic to humans unless they take too much. So let's look at that. So toxicity has been found other than with certain people with a, a disease of their parathyroid, um, uh, granulomatous diseases. So these are uh, not terribly common. Other than people that fall into those categories, uh, vitamin D is very safe in safe dosages. So um, up to 10,000, up to 14,000 international units in studies have been found to be absolutely fine. Toxicity levels were consistently found when people were taking over 40,000 international units in a given day. And I was thinking the way we think with um, dosages for our patients, if someone was very low, if they had um, a vitamin D level in their blood of 17 or up to 20, very low, our rule of thumb is we give 2,000 international units for every 10 uh, levels we want to increase it. So somebody was 20 and we wanted to take them up to 50, that would be a difference of 30. So for every 10, that's that's three tens. Um, so three times two is six. So they would be given 6,000 international units of, of vitamin D. Sometimes we go up as high as 8,000 international units. That's very far away from 40,000, as I'm sure you can appreciate. So. Um, these are the areas we want to be concerned about not putting some blanket statement that vitamin D3 is rat poison. Um, just because it's in rat poison, it doesn't mean that it's poisonous for humans. Uh, what is poisonous to humans is things like cancer and osteoporosis and autoimmune disease and COPD and asthma prostate cancer in particular, although there's other cancers associated with vitamin D deficiency, these are the things that are toxic, is suffering with these diseases that are linked to vitamin D deficiency. So if we need to be worried about something, it's worry about vitamin D3 deficiency because you are in very good company if you have it, and we'd all be a lot healthier if we normalized our levels. So I hope you found that to be helpful. I get a lot of comments about this and a lot of questions, so I wanted to clear it up. If your health is not the way you want it to be, please feel free to reach out. We offer free phone consultations if you're not local, free in-person consultations if you are. Here at Root Cause Medical Clinic, we help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, their resilience. We would love to help you. Give me a call, 408-733-0400. Also visit our website at rootcausemedical.com. I'll talk to you soon.